Hello my dear friends, today I am going to explain to you a test for normality to see whether a data given is in a normal distribution, distribution or not. The test is known as Shapiro Wilk original test. So there are some conditions for this test. One is that usually the samples must be between 3 and 50. So, element number of the data size should be or count should be between 30 and 40. And then you have to rearrange the data in ascending order and also in the descending order, also you have to do. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll demonstrate that to you why like that. Then you have to calculate SS using this formula that is sum of n going from 1 to n si minus s bar here si is each member in the data set and s bar is the average and it's all square that is a sum and then you have to calculate m if if n is even then m equal n by 2 otherwise if n is odd then m equal m is n minus 1 all divided by 2 and then you have to calculate b using the Sharpro Wilk table, I will show that to you how. There also we have to find from 1 to i equal to 1 to m ai into x n plus 1 minus i minus xi. That will be always the last element in the data set minus first element, as you can, uh, as I will show you later. And then you have to use, you have to get the test stat statistic. That is W equal to B square by SS. So, as I have explained to you before, this is also a using P value, our, our null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. So, our null hypothesis is that distribution is in normal, and then alternate is it is not in normal distribution. So, finding the test statistic, we can get the P value, and we will just compare the P value with the alpha. If the P value is less than alpha, you reject the null hypothesis. The p value is bigger than alpha or greater than alpha, you go with the null hypothesis. So, that is what we are go going to do. So, we will start with an example. So, here the data is given, the age, the, the data is given here. So, you have to sort it. So, this is the sorted data set. So, we will start, we will do it again, how we are going to do. So, we will copy this to a new sheet. We are pasting it here and you are going to sort the data. Sort. Just copy the data, paste it here, go to your data sort it. I will ask you whether you should select the left side also. No. Yes. And also you can have the inverse sort that is descend, uh, descending. Sort it in the descending. Okay. So, we have got the data set and it is sorted in the uh, small to big and big to small. And now, what, it, what you want to find? You have to find the count and average. Okay. So, let us find what is n. n equal to count So, n equal to 12. Now, you have to find the mean equal to average we will we'll do it in another place because I need the space for so our we will find the mean equal to average that is it you got it as 62.667 
now you're going to find xi minus s bar so how you can find this is equal to xi minus s bar equal to xi minus s bar you lock the mean and then you have to pull it down you got xi minus s bar now you want the all square of this value that is uh, you are doing this this formula you're doing this formula okay this formula you are doing this formula okay xi minus s bar all square so equal to this all square and then you want to what is SS? SS is the sum of this one. So you have to get the sum. Go to home, get the auto sum. So a small change here is from F2. You got the sum, and now what you have to do? Now you have calculated SS. Now you have to calculate this value B. You have to find B. B is the sum of what will be B is the sum of A i into X n. So suppose uh, what is the n here? N is 12. So what will be the first X? 12 plus 1 minus 1. That is 12 minus 1. That is X 12. X 12 is this one minus X 1. So that's why I took this this row also so I can subtract from this minus this so first we have to find the ai so here our m is what is the m i equal to 1 to m so we have to find m so if m is if your n is even m equal to n divided by 2 so here it is even and divided by 2 so we have to go from we have to get six values a1 a2 a3 like that so let us write here a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and a6 so this you have to get from the table sacro will, will table you have to take it sacro will table so the table is given here so what is our n n is 12 you have to get from a1 to a6 this value okay 5 4 7 5 this value i'm just copying from here i looked at the table and took it so i'm copying it from here and i'm because we are demonstrating here i copied okay so i got the a1 to a6 that you are getting from the table this is the table so here our n is 12 so this is a1 to a6 you get from here that's how you take it okay same by this i have typed okay so now what is the formula now equal to ai this into bracket x n plus 1 minus i that is our n equal to 12 12 plus 1 minus 1 that is 12 that is x 12 x 12 is this one okay so here i put it here minus x1 so x1 is 35 okay so just copy it down you get that so i got from now last one will be a6 into 12 plus 1 minus 6 okay 12 plus 1 is 13 13 13 minus 6 that is 7 okay minus a6 okay so you got this one and then you have to get the if you keep here you can see which all values are okay this one okay okay you got that And now you have to get the sum here equal to 
auto sum you get the value so you got 44.161 so what is so now let us write down what all values we wanted we wanted ss ss is this one this value 2008 now what do you want ss now you want b b is a b b is the sum of this one this is the b equal to this one the same b now you have to calculate w w equal to b square b square divided by ss w you have to w equal to b square divided by ss okay so you got 0.971 so this is your test statistics now you want to find where this 0.971 lies in the table of the p value so let us go to the table of the p value so this is a p value table for this test so what is our n our n is 12 so here what is our test at 0.971 so where that 0.971 lies our 0.971 lies between 0.5 and 0.9 so our our p value from this test at 6 is between our p value is between 0.5 and 0.9 so this is much higher than alpha okay so we go with the null hypothesis so this is we we go with null hypothesis that is it is normally distributed okay hope it is clear to you so we'll just check whether we'll so this is the data we got we'll check it by our histogram how it is distributed okay yes so i have made a bin here this is a data this is a bin i have made a bin with 10 interval 30 10 then i used our equation frequency and then selected this the histogram and i plotted a graph for this histogram so as you can see it is more or less normal distributed okay so you can see is norm more or less normal distributed okay let's say it is normal distributed okay so we check with the histogram also so this how you do the test for the normality so we'll do an another example and see and see the other example where it is not fitting the normal distribution so i hope it is clear to you so just a recap you have to find the ss you have to find b then using the formula w equal to b square by ss you got a value you go to the uh, table and see where this is lying so in our case it was lying between 0.5 and 0.9 so this value is much higher than alpha alpha is not usually 0.05 so we go with null hypothesis okay so another example is this one so here the data is given here it is already sorted so i just uh, inverse sorting i i did here and then i calculated n n equal to 15 mean equal to i found mean here and then i found xi minus s bar and then the square of that you got the sum as 54.35 that is ss equal to 54.35 and then uh, same way from here our m value is 7 that is 15 is odd so 15 minus 1 divided by 2 that is 7 you got so you want to get the values a1 to a7 how you are getting a1 to a7 you go to the table for a1 to a7 our n is 15 so here this value 0.5150 starting so this is the a1 
and same way you find the for getting b so this into this minus this one as you can see okay and you found the sum here and that is b so w equal to this square b, b square divided by ss so you got the values 0.87 so now you have to go to the table and see where 0.87 is lying on the p table. So our n was 15, 0.87. So it is between 0 0.02 and 0 0.05. So it is less than alpha. So we reject the null hypothesis that is not normal distributed. Just we can see from the. So I made the histogram here using the. Uh, using the bin 1.2 to 1.4 with the 0.2 di difference and I plotted for the histogram as you can see this is normal, not normally distributed. I hope it is clear to you. So this simple, just you have to calculate these values SS and B and from that using those two values you find W equal to V square by SS. This is, a, this is told by the person who has found this test. And then you find where the p value is that use the p value to reject or accept or null hypothesis. So, this is how you have to do the test for this. Thank you. Thank you very much.